first thing I do is I clean up all the rattiness of my frog. I come down the side, I keep my knife stood up really straight. And I'm just trying to get down a good solid. I clean my tip up. I get rid of flat, I, I go flat. Clean out the central sulcus. If my walls or my, if it came over, got a little bit here, if they hook in real bad, I'll open them up just a smidge. Now I have a guideline. Come back to my widest portion of my foot, or to my frog there. Gives me a nice base to look at. Then I come in and work on my sole. I stay up by the white line. I'll clean my bars up. But I try not to take a lot away. I just want to brighten everything. I measure a lot. Give me an idea. Then I take, divide with my nippers, try to find the center of my hoof capsule. And that's where I make my toe nip. Nice, slow, overlapping. These are the FPD nippers. I'll make a nip, palpate, see how much, if I got it, what I got for foot. I'm constantly, I'm using my eyes to see, I'm using my, I smell, how many times that we've cut into, you can smell an abscess brewing or a nasty frog or whatever, and then I'm using my thumbs to feel, do I have more soul to work with or not? To take just a smidge more off, get that foot, Okay, then what else am I looking at? I'm looking at wall thickness. I use the inside edge of my white line. That is my junction of my sole and my wall. That is the shape of my coffin bone. That is what I want to shape my shoe to. When I look at that, look how much thickness there is here. And you can see it's starting to stress 
the white line area there. It's a fairly tidy white line, but it does have, it is starting to stretch out a little bit because that toe is so thick out there. Set it down. Take a look at it. It's a pretty nice foot actually. Some of the things I don't like, I'd love to bring my heels back to here a little bit more, but I can't with this confirmation. So what I'm gonna do is work on it with my shoe. I'll have my shoe back to here. But we, things are starting to tidy up. It's a fairly nicely shaped shoe. But see how big of a difference that made just by rounding that wall up? I'll pull a foot forward, I'll dress it, and I'll slow, start bringing it back. And if I need to, I can still come off the toe, have it come off the toe a little bit with my shoe or build my mechanics into my shoe to get the foot back underneath itself. <laughs> 